Hey church family, Pastor Justin here. Hope you're having a great week. There's several things that are upcoming that I just want to make sure that you are aware of and that you are uh, invited to. First and foremost, Friday of this week is going to be our Delectable Delights. Uh, this is where uh, a group of folks uh, gather in the fellowship hall. They're in the kitchen here at the church, um, and they bake a lot of yummy treats for our Sunday morning gatherings. Uh, if you are interested in being a part of that, if you'd like to come and serve the church in that manner, they are going to be gathering this Friday, the fourth Friday of the month at 9 a.m., uh, in the fellowship hall and in the kitchen here at the church, you are invited to come and participate and uh, to help us out as um, we give some wonderful treats on Sunday mornings as we gather together. So don't forget, Delectable Delights this Friday, uh, tomorrow, right here at the church, 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I want to make sure that you're also aware that this coming Sunday is Fifth Family Sunday. This is where we invite our kids ministry and our youth to worship with us here in the sanctuary for the whole morning uh, in the 10 o'clock hour. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to have several of our youth leading us in worship. There's going to be several kids uh, and families uh, handing out bulletins and greetings Sunday morning. There's going to be a kids call to worship. It's just going to be a wonderful multi-generational Sunday morning of us gathering together and worshiping as one big family. I hope that you are making plans to be here at 8.30 or 10 a.m. for our Fifth Family Sunday. Also, just a side note, if you picked up one of those pregnancy center bottles, um, the bottle drive that we have been doing, been putting change, uh, cash, check in those uh, bottles, those are due back this Sunday for Fifth Family Sunday. Those are going to be going to support the mission and the ministry of a Pacific Pregnancy Center there in Coos Bay. Uh, we support them, uh, and we believe in their mission and what they're doing. And so if you picked one of those up, bring those back this Sunday. There'll be a drop in the lobby for those um, this uh, this coming Sunday. Also, <clears throat> on the third Thursday, Prime Time is going to be hosting a fall feast. It's going to be just that, a feast in this fall season, and it is for you. It is for Prime Time, our seniors adult group at the Senior Center. There is a sign-up in the lobby. <clears throat> um, you can put your name down and what side that you are going to bring. It's going to be a great time of fellowship, um, investing in uh, authentic community and building community and connecting with one another, which is what we believe in here at the church. So I encourage you to get involved, sign up, be there on October 3rd, the community center. There's more information in the lobby. Um, it's going to be a wonderful time. And then the last thing I just want to remind you of is uh, October 4th, uh, next Friday, uh, we are hosting and putting on an event that we're calling uh, a scavenger hunt date night. Um, this is for married couples. Uh, we want to invest in your marriage. We believe that uh, marriage is important and it's incredibly valuable. And uh, we just want to give you an opportunity to go out on a date, have a scavenger hunt. But in all of that, there is going to be a meal. There's going to be a bonfire. Uh, there is child care that's available. Um, and then there's just really great opportunity to for you and your spouse to connect with one another. Uh, it's going to be a ton of fun. Stephanie and I are going to do it. We are super pumped about the scavenger, the scavenger hunt. There's been so much effort put into this. Um, I don't want you to miss it. So if you um, <clears throat> need a date and you want a date night, 10 bucks, register today at rchog.org. It's going to be an incredible time. I don't want you to miss it. So be sure and get registered. I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, church, I love you. Keep your eyes on Jesus, and I can't wait to worship with you on Sunday morning.